Question 1. On which day did God create light? A. First day. B. Second day. C. Third day. D. Fourth day. Answer A, first day. Genesis 1 verse 3. God said, let there be light, and there was light. Question 2. Who was the first woman? A, Sarah. B, Rachel. C, Leah. D, Eve. Answer D, Eve. Genesis 3 verse 20. Adam named his wife Eve because she would become the mother of all the living. Question 3. What was the sign of the covenant between God and Noah? A, rainbow. B, olive branch. C, a new boat. D, stars in the sky. Answer A, Rainbow. Genesis 9 verse 13. I have set my rainbow in the clouds, and it will be the sign of the covenant between me and the earth. Question 4. Who were the two sons of Adam and Eve mentioned in Genesis? A, Isaac and Ishmael. B, Jacob and Esau. C, Cain and Abel. D. Joseph and Benjamin. Answer C. Cain and Abel. Genesis 4 verses 1 to 2. Adam made love to his wife Eve, and she became pregnant and gave birth to Cain. Later she gave birth to his brother Abel. Question 5. What was Abraham's original name? A. Abram. B. Aaron. C. Amos. D. Ahab. Answer A. Abram. Genesis 17 verse 5 No longer will you be called Abram, your name will be Abraham, for I have made you a father of many nations. Question 6 What did God ask Abraham to sacrifice as a test of faith? A. A ram B. A lamb C. His son, Isaac D. A dove Answer C, his son, Isaac. Genesis 22 verse 2. Then God said, Take your son, your only son, whom you love, Isaac, and go to the region of Moriah. Sacrifice him there as a burnt offering on a mountain I will show you. Question 7. Who was Isaac's wife? A. Rebecca. B. Leah. C. Rachel. D. Hagar. Answer A. Rebecca. Genesis 24 verse 67. Isaac brought her into the tent of his mother Sarah, and he married Rebecca. So she became his wife, and he loved her. Question 8. What were Jacob and Esau fighting over before they were born? A. Their inheritance. B. The blessing of their father. 
C. Who would be born first? D. The affection of their mother. Answer C. Who would be born first? Genesis 25 verses 22 to 23. The babies jostled each other within her, and she said, Why is this happening to me? So she went to inquire of the Lord. Question 9. What did Jacob exchange with Esau for his birthright? A. A piece of land. B. A bowl of stew. C. Gold coins. D. A flock of sheep. Answer B. A bowl of stew. Genesis 25 verse 34. Then Jacob gave Esau some bread and some lentil stew. He ate and drank and then got up and left. So Esau despised his birthright. Question 10. What was Joseph's special gift that caused jealousy among his brothers? A. Strength. B. Wisdom. C. The ability to interpret dreams. D. Speed. Answer C, the ability to interpret dreams. Genesis 37 verse 5. Joseph had a dream, and when he told it to his brothers, they hated him all the more. Don't forget to count your correct guesses. Question 11. On what basis was Sarah considered to have acted in faith? A, by marrying Abraham. B, by traveling to Canaan. C. By giving birth to Isaac in her old age. D. By leaving her family. Answer C. By giving birth to Isaac in her old age. Genesis 21 verse 2. Sarah became pregnant and bore a son to Abraham in his old age, at the very time God had promised him. Question 12. How did Esau respond when Jacob returned from his time with Laban? A. With anger. B. With a battle. C. With forgiveness. D. With indifference. Answer C, with forgiveness. Genesis 33 verse 4. But Esau ran to meet Jacob and embraced him. He threw his arms around his neck and kissed him. And they wept. Question 13. What was the dream that Joseph interpreted for Pharaoh? A, seven lean cows eating seven fat cows. B, a large vine with three branches. C. The sun and moon and eleven stars bowing to him. D. A river turning into blood. Answer A. Seven lean cows eating seven fat cows. Genesis 41 verses 3 to 4. After them, seven other cows, ugly and gaunt, came up out of the Nile and stood beside those on the riverbank. And the cows that were ugly and gaunt ate up the seven sleek, fat cows. Question 14. What did God create on the fourth day? A. Animals. B. Man. C. The sun, moon, and stars. D. The sea and sky.
Answer C, the sun, moon, and stars. Genesis 1 verse 16. God made two great lights, the greater light to govern the day and the lesser light to govern the night. He also made the stars. Question 15. How did God respond when Cain was angry about his offering? A. He cursed Cain. B. He accepted Cain's offering out of pity. C. He warned Cain about sin. D. He ignored Cain. Answer C. He warned Cain about sin. Genesis 4 verses 6 to 7. Then the Lord said to Cain, Why are you angry? Why is your face downcast? If you do what is right, will you not be accepted? But if you do not do what is right, sin is crouching at your door. It desires to have you, but you must rule over it. Question 16. What was the name of Abram's nephew? A. Lot B. Nahor C. Haran D. Melchizedek Answer A. Lot Genesis 12 verse 5 Abram took his wife Sarai, his nephew Lot, all the possessions they had accumulated and the people they had acquired in Haran, and they set out for the land of Canaan. Question 17. What did God use to close the door of the ark? A. His angels. B. A great wind. C. His own hand. D. The animals. Answer C, his own hand. Genesis 7 verse 16. The animals going in were male and female of every living thing, as God had commanded Noah. Then the Lord shut him in. Question 18. Who was the first person to commit murder? A, Lamech. B, Cain. C, Nimrod. D, Lisa. Answer B, Cain. Genesis 4 verse 8. Now Cain said to his brother Abel, let's go out to the field. While they were in the field, Cain attacked his brother Abel and killed him. Question 19. What city was Lot living in before it was destroyed by fire and brimstone? A, Jericho. B, Sodom. C, Gomorrah. D. Bethel Answer B. Sodom Genesis 19 verse 24 Then the Lord rained down burning sulfur on Sodom and Gomorrah from the Lord out of the heavens. Final question who was the oldest person recorded in Genesis, and how old did he live to be? A. Noah B. Adam C. Methuselah D. Seth Answer C. Methuselah Genesis 5 verse 27 Altogether, Methuselah lived a total of 969 years, and then he died. Time to put your first results in the comments. Let's get ready for Exodus. Question 1. Who found baby Moses in the Nile? A. Miriam 
B. Pharaoh's daughter. C. Aaron. D. A shepherd. Answer B. Pharaoh's daughter. Exodus 2 verse 5. Pharaoh's daughter went down to the Nile to bathe, and her attendants were walking along the riverbank. She saw the basket among the reeds and sent her female slave to get it. Question 2. What did God provide for the Israelites to eat in the desert? A. Fish. B. Bread and quail. C. Fruits. D. Vegetables. Answer B, bread and quail. Exodus 16 verse 12, I have heard the grumbling of the Israelites. Tell them, at twilight you will eat meat, and in the morning you will be filled with bread. Question 3. What was the final plague that convinced Pharaoh to let the Israelites go? A, locusts. B, hail. C, darkness. D. Death of the Firstborn Answer D. Death of the Firstborn Exodus 12 verse 29 At midnight the Lord struck down all the firstborn in Egypt, from the firstborn of Pharaoh, who sat on the throne, to the firstborn of the prisoner, who was in a dungeon. Question 4. On which mountain did Moses receive the Ten Commandments? A. Mount Ararat. B. Mount Hermon. C. Mount Sinai. D. Mount Carmel. Answer C, Mount Sinai. Exodus 19 verse 20, The Lord descended to the top of Mount Sinai and called Moses to the top of the mountain. Question 5. How many plagues did God send on Egypt? A, 7. B, 10. C, 12. D, 5. Answer B, 10. Exodus 7 to 11, various verses describe the 10 plagues sent by God. Question 6. Who was Moses' brother? A, Joshua. B, Caleb. C, Aaron. D, Eliezer. Answer C, Aaron. Exodus 4 verse 14, Then the Lord's anger burned against Moses, and he said, What about your brother, Aaron the Levite? Question 7. Which sea did Moses part? A, Dead Sea. B, Mediterranean Sea. C, Red Sea. D, Sea of Galilee. Answer C, Red Sea. Exodus 14 verse 21, Then Moses stretched out his hand over the sea, and all that night the Lord drove the sea back with a strong east wind and turned it into dry land. Question 8. Who was the Pharaoh during the Exodus? A, Akhenaten. B, Ramesses II. C, Amenhotep II. D, Thutmose III.
Answer B. Ramesses 2. Exodus 1 verse 11, So they put slave masters over them to oppress them with forced labor, and they built Pitham and Ramesses as store cities for Pharaoh. Question 9. What did the Israelites make in worship while Moses was on Mount Sinai? A. A bronze serpent. B. A golden calf. C. A silver lamb. D. A clay pigeon. Answer B. A golden calf. Exodus 32 verse 4. He took what they handed him and made it into an idol cast in the shape of a calf. Question 10. What did Moses strike to bring forth water in the desert? A. A rock. B. A tent. C. A tree. D. The ground. Answer A. A rock. Exodus 17 verse 6. I will stand there before you by the rock at Horeb. Strike the rock, and water will come out of it for the people to drink. Don't forget to count your correct guesses. Question 11. What did God use to speak to Moses in the wilderness? A. A burning bush. B. A star. C. A cloud. D. A thunderstorm. Answer A, a burning bush. Exodus 3 verse 2, the, the angel of the Lord appeared to him in flames of fire from within a bush. Question 12. Where did Moses flee to after killing an Egyptian? A, Edom. B, Midian. C, Canaan. D, Goshen. Answer B. Midian. Exodus 2 verse 15. When Pharaoh heard of this, he tried to kill Moses, but Moses fled from Pharaoh and went to live in Midian. Question 13. What was the first plague of Egypt? A. Lice. B. Frogs. C. Water turned into blood. D. Darkness. Answer C. Water turned into blood. Exodus 7 verse 20. Moses and Aaron did just as the Lord had commanded. He raised his staff in the presence of Pharaoh and his officials and struck the water of the Nile, and all the water was changed into blood. Question 14. What did Moses' staff turn into when he threw it on the ground? A. Fire. B. Water. C. A serpent. D. A tree. Answer C. A serpent. Exodus 4 verse 3, Then the Lord said to him, Throw it on the ground. Moses threw it on the ground, and it became a snake, and he ran from it. Question 15. How many commandments were written on the stone tablets? A. 7. B. 5. C. 10. D. 12. Answer C. 10. 
Exodus 20 verses 1 to 17, And God spoke all these words, saying, I am the Lord your God, who brought you out of the land of Egypt, out of the house of slavery. You shall have no other gods before me. Question 16. What river was turned into blood as the first plague? A. Euphrates B. Nile C. Tigris D. Jordan Answer B. Nile Exodus 7 verse 20 Moses and Aaron did just as the Lord had commanded. He raised his staff in the presence of Pharaoh and his officials and struck the water of the Nile, and all the water was changed into blood. Question 17. What did the Israelites cross to escape the Egyptian army? A. Jordan River B. Sea of Galilee C. Red Sea D. Dead Sea Answer C, Red Sea. Exodus 14 verse 22, the Israelites went through the sea on dry ground, with a wall of water on their right and on their left. Question 18. Who did God appoint as the spokesperson for Moses? A, Caleb. B, Hur. C, Joshua. D, Aaron. Answer D. Aaron. Exodus 4 verses 14 to 16. The Lord said to him, What about your brother, Aaron the Levite? I know he can speak well. He will speak to the people for you. Question 19. What did God say to Moses from the burning bush? A. I am the God of your father. B. Build an ark. C. Lead my people to the promised land. D. I am who I am. Answer D. I am who I am. Exodus 3 verse 14. God said to Moses, I am who I am. This is what you are to say to the Israelites, I am as sent me to you. Final question. What did the Israelites use to mark their doors during the Passover? A. Water. B. Oil. C. Lamb's blood. D. Mud. Answer C, lamb's blood. Exodus 12 verse 7, Then they are to take some of the blood and put it on the sides and tops of the door frames of the houses where they eat the lambs. Time to put your results in the comments. Let's get ready for Leviticus. Question 1. What is forbidden in Leviticus regarding animals? A. Riding horses on the Sabbath. B. Eating certain animals. C. Keeping pets indoors. D. Teaching animals to speak. Answer B. Eating certain animals. Leviticus 11 verse 7. And the swine, though he divide the hoof, and be cloven-footed, yet he cheweth not the cud, he is unclean to you. Question 2. Who are the Levitical offerings intended for? A. Kings and rulers. B. The poor and needy. C. The priests and the tabernacle. 
D foreign diplomats. Answer C, the priests and the tabernacle. Leviticus 1 verse 2. Speak unto the children of Israel, and say unto them, When any man of you bringeth an offering unto the Lord, ye shall bring your offering of the cattle, even of the herd and of the flock. Question 3. What is the penalty for cursing one's parents in Leviticus? A. A fine. B. Imprisonment. C. Banishment. D. Death. Answer D. Death. Leviticus 20 verse 9. For every one that curseth his father or his mother shall be surely put to death. He hath cursed his father or his mother. His blood shall be upon him. Question 4. What must not be done with the fruit of a tree during its first three years? A. Sold. B. Eaten. C. Given away. D. Used in ceremonies. Answer B. Eaten. Leviticus 19 verse 24 But in the fourth year all the fruit thereof shall be holy to praise the Lord withal. Question 5 What does Leviticus say about treating the poor and the stranger? A. They should be taxed. B. They must be ignored. C. They should be loved as oneself. D. They are to be served by the priests. Answer C. They should be loved as oneself. Leviticus 19 verse 34. But the stranger that dwelleth with you shall be unto you as one born among you, and thou shalt love him as thyself, for you were strangers in the land of Egypt. I am the Lord your God. Question 6. Which of these is a prohibited practice in Leviticus? A. Weaving two types of fabric together. B. Cooking with olive oil. C. Eating unleavened bread during Passover. D. Drinking wine on the Sabbath. Answer A. Weaving two types of fabric together. Leviticus 19 verse 19. Neither shall a garment mingled of linen and woolen come upon thee. Question 7. What was the purpose of the Day of Atonement? A. To celebrate the harvest. B. To atone for the sins of Israel. C. To commemorate the exodus. D. To mark the beginning of the year. Answer B, to atone for the sins of Israel. Leviticus 16 verse 30. For on that day shall the priest make an atonement for you, to cleanse you, that ye may be clean from all your sins before the Lord. Question 8. What is required of anyone who sins unintentionally? A, to apologize to the community. B, to offer a sin offering. C. To fast for seven days. D. To be exiled for a month. Answer B. To offer a sin offering. Leviticus 4 verses 27 to 28. 
And if any one of the common people sin through ignorance, while he doeth somewhat against any of the commandments of the Lord concerning things which ought not to be done, and be guilty, or if his sin, which he hath sinned, come to his knowledge, then he shall bring his offering, a kid of the goats, a female without blemish, for his sin which he hath sinned. Question 9. What does Leviticus instruct about the land during the Sabbath year? A. It should be sold. B. It must be flooded. C. It should be left fallow. D. It must be planted with trees. Answer C. It should be left fallow. Leviticus 25 verse 4 But in the seventh year shall be a Sabbath of rest unto the land, a Sabbath for the Lord, thou shalt neither sow thy field, nor prune thy vineyard. Question 10 How should disputes be settled according to Leviticus? A. By casting lots B. Through trial by combat C. By consulting the Urim and Thummim D. Do not bear false witness against your neighbor. Answer D. Do not bear false witness against your neighbor. Leviticus 19 verse 16. Thou shalt not go up and down as a talebearer among thy people, neither shalt thou stand against the blood of thy neighbor. I am the Lord. Don't forget to count your correct guesses. Question 11. What is the punishment for engaging in idolatry according to Leviticus? A. Forced labor. B. Excommunication. C. Death. D. Public shaming. Answer C. Death. Leviticus 20 verse 6. And the soul that turneth after such as have familiar spirits, and after wizards, to go a whoring after them, I will even set my face against that soul, and will cut him off from among his people. Question 12. Which of the following is true about the Jubilee year? A. Slaves are set free. B. All debts are doubled. C. The priesthood is re-elected. D. Sacrifices are forbidden. Answer A. Slaves are set free. Leviticus 25 verse 10. And ye shall hallow the fiftieth year, and proclaim liberty throughout all the land unto all the inhabitants thereof. It shall be a jubil unto you, and ye shall return every man unto his possession, and ye shall return every man unto his family. Question 13. What does Leviticus prescribe for leprosy? A. Immediate exile. B. Healing through prayer. C. Inspection by a priest. D. Bathing in the Jordan River. Answer C. Inspection by a priest. Leviticus 13 verse 45. And the leper in whom the plague is, his clothes shall be rent, and his head bare, and he shall put a covering upon his upper lip, and shall cry, Unclean, unclean. Question 14. What must be done with the meat of the peace offerings? A. Burned outside the camp. B. Eaten within the same day. C. Given to the poor. D. Thrown into the sea. Answer B. Eaten within the same day. 
Leviticus 19 verse 6 It shall be eaten the same day ye offer it, and on the morrow, and if I remain until the third day, it shall be burnt in the fire. Question 15 What specific instruction does Leviticus give about the land in the year of Jubilee? A. It should be sold to the highest bidder. B. All land must be left fallow. C. Land must be returned to its original family owners. D. Land can be cultivated with double the previous year's effort. Answer C. Land must be returned to its original family owners. Leviticus 25 verse 10 And ye shall hallow the fiftieth year, and proclaim liberty throughout all the land unto all the inhabitants thereof. It shall be a jubilee unto you, and ye shall return every man unto his possession, and ye shall return every man unto his family. Question 16 how are grain offerings prepared according to Leviticus? A. Boiled in water. B. Cooked with honey. C. Made with leaven. D. Seasoned with salt. Answer D. Seasoned with salt. Leviticus 2 verse 13 And every oblation of thy meat offering shalt thou season with salt, neither shalt thou suffer the salt of the covenant of thy God to be lacking from thy meat offering. With all thine offerings thou shalt offer salt. Question 17 What does Leviticus command about the harvest? A. All fields must be harvested at once. B. Leave the corners for the poor and stranger. C. Burn the first fruits as an offering. D. Use machinery to increase efficiency. Answer B. Leave the corners for the poor and stranger. Leviticus 23 verse 22. And when ye reap the harvest of your land, thou shalt not wholly reap the corners of thy field, neither shalt thou gather the gleanings of thy harvest. Thou shalt leave them for the poor and stranger. I am the Lord your God. Question 18. Who is eligible to eat the holy things? A. Any Israelite who is clean. B. Only the high priest. C. Levites exclusively. D. You foreigners residing in Israel. Answer A. Any Israelite who is clean. Leviticus 22 verse 2. Speak unto Aaron and to his sons, that they separate themselves from the holy things of the children of Israel, and that they profane not my holy name in those things which they hallow unto me. I am the Lord. Question 19. What must not be done to the body as per Leviticus? A. Tattooing oneself. B. Bathing in holy water. C. Wearing makeup. D. Cutting hair on the Sabbath. Answer A. Tattooing oneself. Leviticus 29 verse 28. Ye shall not make any cuttings in your flesh for the dead, nor print any marks upon you. I am the Lord. Final question. What is said about justice in Leviticus? A. Only kings can administer it. B. It should favor the poor. C. It must be equal for all. D. Priests decide on all matters.
Answer C. It must be equal for all. Leviticus 19 verse 15 Ye shall do no unrighteousness in judgment. Thou shalt not respect the person of the poor, nor honor the person of the mighty, but in righteousness shalt thou judge thy neighbor. Time to put your results in the comments. Let's get ready for numbers. Question 1. Who was instructed to take a census of the Israelite community? A. Aaron B. Joshua C. Caleb D. Moses Answer D. Moses Numbers 1 verse 2 Take a census of the whole Israelite community by their clans and families, listing every man by name, one by one. Question 2. What did the Israelites complain about in the wilderness, leading God to send quail? A. Lack of water. B. The manna. C. The heat. D. Enemies. Answer B, the manna. Numbers 11 verse 4 to 6. The rabble with them began to crave other food, and again the Israelites started wailing and said, If only we had meat to eat. Question 3. Who were the two spies that brought back a positive report from Canaan? A, Nadab and Abihu. B, Korah and Dathan. C. Joshua and Caleb D. Eliezer and Ithamar Answer C. Joshua and Caleb Numbers 14 verse 6 to 7 Joshua son of Nun and Caleb son of Jephunneh who were among those who had explored the land, tore their clothes. Question 4. What was the punishment for gathering sticks on the Sabbath? A. Exile B. Stoning C. Flogging D. Imprisonment Answer B. Stoning. Numbers 15 verse 35. Then the Lord said to Moses, The man must die. The whole assembly must stone him outside the camp. Question 5. How did Korah and his followers die? A. By sword. B. By fire. C. The earth swallowed them. D. Plague. Answer C. The earth swallowed them. Numbers 16 verse 32. And the earth opened its mouth and swallowed them up, with their households and all the people who belonged to Korah and all their goods. Question 6. What was Balaam's donkey able to do when it saw an angel of the Lord? A. Fly. B. Speak. C. Disappear. D. Fight. Answer B. Speak. Numbers 22 verse 28. Then the Lord opened the donkey's mouth, and it said to Balaam, What have I done to you to make you beat me these three times? Question 7. What did God use to heal those bitten by snakes? A. A bronze snake B. A golden calf C. A silver dove 
D. A wooden ark. Answer A. A bronze snake. Numbers 21 verse 8 to 9. The Lord said to Moses, Make a snake and put it up on a pole. Anyone who is bitten can look at it and live. Question 8. Who succeeded Moses as the leader of Israel? A. Aaron. B. Eliezer. C. Joshua. D. Caleb. Answer C, Joshua. Numbers 27 verse 18 to 20. So the Lord said to Moses, Take Joshua son of Nun, a man in whom is the spirit of leadership, and lay your hand on him. Question 9. What was required of the Israelites to purify themselves after touching a dead body? A, a ritual bath. B, an offering of incense. C. Sprinkling with the water of cleansing. D. Seven days of fasting. Answer C. Sprinkling with the water of cleansing. Numbers 19 verse 18. A person who is clean shall take hyssop, dip it in the water, and sprinkle it on the tent, on all the furnishings, and on the people who were there, or on the one who touched a bone, a slain person, or a grave. Question 10. What was the sign of the covenant between God and the Levites? A. Circumcision. B. Sabbath observance. C. Wearing of tassels. D. Priestly garments. Answer B, Sabbath observance. Numbers 18 verse 23. But the Levites are to do the work at the tent of meeting and bear the responsibility for offenses against it. This is a lasting ordinance for the generations to come. They will receive no inheritance among the Israelites. Don't forget to count your correct guesses. Question 11. How many spies were sent to explore Canaan? A. 2 B. 10 C. 12 D. 40 Answer C. 12 Numbers 13 verse 2 Send some men to explore the land of Canaan, which I am giving to the Israelites. From each ancestral tribe, send one of its leaders. It has been 12 spies in total. Question 12. What was Aaron's rod able to do that proved his leadership? A. Turn into a serpent. B. Bud, blossom, and produce almonds. C. Strike water from a rock. D. Glow in the dark. Answer B. Bud, blossom, and produce almonds. Number 17, verse 8. The next day Moses entered the tent and saw that Aaron's staff, which represented the house of Levi, had not only sprouted, but had budded, blossomed, and produced almonds. Question 13. Who was the Moabite king that sought Balaam's curse against Israel? A. Balak. B. O. G. C. Sion. D. Eglon.
Answer A. Balak. Numbers 22 verse 2. Balak son of Zippir saw all that Israel had done to the Amorites. Question 14. What was the test for an unfaithful wife? A. The trial by water. B. The ordeal of fire. C. The test of jealousy. D. The casting of stones. Answer C. The test of jealousy. Numbers 5 verse 14. If a spirit of jealousy comes over him and he is jealous of his wife when she has defiled herself, or if a spirit of jealousy comes over him and he is jealous of his wife although she has not defiled herself. Question 15. How long did the Israelites wander in the desert? A. 20 years. B. 40 years. C. 50 years. D. 70 years. Answer B. 40 years. Numbers 14 verse 33 to 34. Your children will be shepherds here for 40 years, suffering for your unfaithfulness until the last of your bodies lies in the desert. Question 16. What was the Nazarite vow? A. A promise to give up all possessions. B. A commitment to lifelong service in the temple. C. A pledge to refrain from cutting hair, drinking alcohol, and touching the dead. D. A vow of silence. Answer C. Pledge to refrain from cutting hair, drinking alcohol, and touching the dead. Numbers 6 verse 5. During the entire period of their Nazarite vow, no razor may be used on their head. They must be holy until the period of their dedication to the Lord is over. They must let their hair grow long. Question 17. How was the land of Canaan to be divided among the Israelites? A. By drawing lots. B. By the size of each tribe. C. Equally among all families. D. According to the seniority of the tribes. Answer A. By drawing lots. Numbers 26 verse 55 to 56. The land is to be allotted to them as an inheritance based on the number of names. To a larger group give a larger inheritance, and to a smaller group a smaller one. Each is to receive its inheritance according to the number of those listed. Question 18. What did Moses do with the second set of stone tablets at Mount Sinai? A. Broke them in anger. B. Placed them in the Ark of the Covenant. C. Gave them to Aaron for safekeeping. D. Hid them in a cave. Answer B. Place them in the Ark of the Covenant. Number 17 verse 10, contextually related as direct reference to placing the tablets in the Ark is found in Exodus, but this speaks to the authority and sanctity of the Ark and its contents. Put back Aaron's staff in front of the Ark of the Covenant law to be kept as a sign to the rebellious. Question 19. Who succeeded Aaron as high priest? A. Eliezer B. Ithamar C. Phinehas D. Nadab (laughs) 
Answer A. Eliezer. Numbers 20 verse 28. Moses stripped Aaron of his garments and put them on his son Eliezer. And Aaron died there on the top of the mountain. Final question. What was unique about the daughters of Zelophehad? A. They led an army into Canaan. B. They were granted land rights. C. They became priests. D. They married outside their tribe without losing their inheritance. Answer B. They were granted land rights. Numbers 27 verse 7. The daughters of Zelophehad speak right. You must surely give them a possession of an inheritance among their father's brethren and cause the inheritance of their father to pass unto them. That's it. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe if you don't want to miss our next videos.